hey guys welcome back to another new video so in this video i'm going to do another custom rom review for redmi note 8 and this time here with us is oxygen os and it's uh built on android 12 and i will i don't think this is an oxygen os actually it's built on maybe color os it's not really an oxygen os because it has no oxygen left anymore it's terrible actually so let's go with like android version and other things what I typically do so the custom the setting UI uh, looks something like this and if I go system setting and power device okay not about device so you can see here like one plus it's saying one plus but the, uh, in the hood it's running on actually color OS I will show you that too and Android version is 12 and security patch level maybe something about let's see okay we don't have any security patch level here so not here too so i don't think where is security patch level cannot find yeah here is security patch level is december 5 2022 so it's very recent build so let's go with other things so uh, as you can see there are the ui is something like this and you are you are not getting any 5 GHz band with this ROM too, so if you are using this phone as a hotspot, you will not get any kind of 5 GHz band. So as you can see, they give you like to select uh, the band, but there is no 5 GHz band showing. I don't know why. And it's not working anymore. Just you can share hotspot and then that's, that's it. So as I said, this is not an oxygen voice, it's running on color rules. Let's go and show you why. How do I know that? So if I go here, app management. So on the hood, you will see that it's running on system OS. System launcher is color OS. So it's built on color OS, not oxygen OS. Right? Um, we all know that like the oxygen, like OnePlus brand is also um, comes under BBK Electronics, which uh, produce a lot of phone, OnePlus, Vivo and other phones. So it's the same thing here. And one thing about this ROM actually is that it came with very minimal apps. Let me show you that. So when I installed it first, I got only these apps even. Calculator, clock, nothing is here. Just Play Store, phone, contact, messenger and that's it. There was no bloatware at all. So there was nothing with this ROM. And this ROM is not the worst ROM I have ever tried because and my UI mind edition was worse than this and this ROM did not come with even camera app so there was no camera app and I have installed like Gcam so Gcams are working but no secondary cameras are working only the primary camera you can use so like secondary lens like you have a like, depth sensor micro sensor and ultra wide sensor doesn't work and let me show you so these cameras actually support all of the lenses but when I open it, as you can see, it takes time. This ROM has one of the worst RAM management I have ever tried. So as you can see, only 1x. That means there is no uh, support for other lenses. And it's choppy, very choppy. I don't like to use this ROM that much. It's very choppy. Sometimes it struggles a lot. Even sometimes if you touch some apps, you have to touch two times to open it. And if I show you the RAM management, as you can see, 1.23 GB available now out of 4 GB. And there is not much app actually running. All of them actually, I think, not closed already. So if I open this one, as you can see, it's not running in the background. So the old RAM management you can find custom ROMs, I think it will be this ROM. And funniest part of this ROM actually is that it comes with some features which actually doesn't need like it comes with face unlock I don't think it is but whenever I try to set up the face unlock it always say go to the bright area bright area doesn't work that much and fingerprint is working just fine let me show you so fingerprint work if you press and work then other things like the basic things of the UI is that you want like battery percentage to show in battery side or somewhere inside the battery but I couldn't able to find that features too to enable that. So whenever you need to see the battery backup, you have to turn on the uh, 
drag the notification button then you can see the battery percentage otherwise you cannot see that and another thing of this rom which irritating me is that the boolean panel so as you can see you have actually a lot of things here but the boolean panels are left side that's why it's mm, i don't feel actually comfortable because we are using this like all the phones for redmi uh redmi phones or custom roms everyone comes with right side mostly but this one has the left side and there is no way to change that there is no features at all and there is nothing actually but there are some positive point too like after uh restoring of the all the apps from like backup from the previous rom although it's running on android 12 and um, the backup i made from android 13 but the apps are still working there is no issue with those things and another thing of this rom which is positive i think is that the skin irritation problem it's not here although it has no show me parts option but still it's managing the display panel very well I, as you can see my display here is a little bit yellow because i have turned on the what it called uh, eye protection mode so as you can see the display looks very nice but main thing is that the ui is very bad so so you, you can't really use this from like daily drive or daily drive it looks nice but it doesn't feel good and the battery backup is very average like you will get maybe five hours screen on time is nothing like other roms like see droid or drift fist it's not that good actually but if you want like to use if you want to use something new rather than stock i will be wrong you can try this rom i will put the link in the description below and you can flash it like after just formatting the data and everything just flash it you no need to flash gfs or anything uh, gfs is built in with this rom and but you have to use like install like magisk and also camera app and other things because it has no camera app built in just it come with few apps i have shown you already and you have to maintain many things actually you have to change the icon and other things the, the even one of the main problem with this rom actually is that you cannot set up like wallpaper i tried it but i couldn't able to set up my own wallpaper so let's try it again so if i go here okay like this this cat my cats uh i want to set up this wallpaper so if i go here so okay i mean it's set as wallpaper mostly it's safe turn on the storage permission let's go to turn on the storage permission let's see it's work or not so when i come here as you can see the permission option is not allowing me to permit the permission so i could not able to set up any kind of wallpaper one thing you can do is you can change wallpaper from this actually maybe it will work so here are some built-in wallpapers don't think that these are from my phones these are from the rom and if i want to set up this wallpaper these are live wallpapers you can set up and these are very cool but it feels very slow and if i set up okay let's set up so this wallpaper can be set up easily so as you can see here i have set up and it's working just fine and let me as you can see after set up the wallpaper the phone got very slow and the ram management let's see as you can see it using a lot of ram so not recommended to use this kind of rom uh what it's called a wallpaper as you can see very slow if i open this this one is also you see it struggles sometimes it doesn't go up that much so that's it about oxygen os 12 which has no oxygen left i think all are hydrogen or others like or whatever so that's it about this rom and if you really want to install this rom i'll put the link in the description below thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time so please sabara kabar sabara karai sara sara kab